Well, folks, we're out here looking at this McKell V660 round baler. We actually demoed this yesterday. I don't know, rolled up 50, 55 bales or so. Pulled it with this New Holland. It's a T6 145. Real nice tractor. Got Jack and Bo Jacob up there in it. They're cranking it up. This is how wide that is, huh? Nice tractor. I didn't get a chance to ride in it, but that's all right. Featuring this Mikhail Baylor. Now, folks, we own a John Deere, and uh, we love that baler. It's been a great baler, don't get me wrong. But, man, I'm going to tell you right here and right now, this Mikhail V660 is faster. It rolls a higher density bale, and... Uh, we just we couldn't find anything wrong with it it's heavy built they took every baler that they could imagine these irishmen did and they throwed this thing together and you talking about a nice baler folks I, I i can't i can't say enough about it i really can't we uh we give it a little bit of hades yesterday uh i'd love to just quickly go over some of the features on this thing the pickup reel on this thing is forever wide. I mean, you know, uh, just, it, 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 it's a monster. It is a monster. But like I said, we, uh, Jake's gonna take it around the barn. He's wanting to drive his tractor. The boy just can't stand it. He's gotta be in something driving. But anyhow, when they get back around, we'll, uh, we'll talk a little more about that baler. Um, it's got the uh, hydraulic uh, lift on the, uh, pickup reel um, endless belts on it heavy duty chains trying to think off the top of my head uh, Jack he's a little more thorough on terminology about that baler than I am uh, monitor is super super uh, uh, dummy sensitive <laughs> I mean uh, anybody could actually bail with that baler folks anybody um, Heavy duty chains, I mean, they're, they're, they're better than a John Deere, hands down. Uh, automatic oilers, it's got two grease banks on it. Basically one on either side. Everything's right there, handy. So you're, you're, you're able to basically get things operational quicker, get in the field quicker. And uh, yeah, just basically uh, hands down folks, uh, 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 a perfect bailing machine especially for what we do so that being said they're going to take a ride around the barn here and i'll get back with you on it uh talk a little bit more about it we're going to engage the baler we're going to uh, open it up let you look at it uh i think honestly folks y'all y'all will like what you see i know uh from the experience we had yesterday we demoed it um not a problem not not one problem i mean just tried to put it through the mill and and see what she'd do so they're coming back around and uh yeah we'll get you a, a better look at the inside of this baler and a nice tractor folks we're actually considering uh upgrading on both uh, I do like this this six series tractor here from New Holland it's got the cab suspension which is really nice it's got a huge buddy seat you can see Jack sitting down in it that's his boy driving he's 11 years old he's uh he's coming along real fine and dandy in this hay field we're going to have him. He already fluffs hay for us. We're going to have him bailing for a long time. But yeah, they're going to take another lap, I can tell. But that's all right. We ain't got nothing but time, folks. Nothing but time. Mikhail V660. Absolutely a wonderful machine, folks. Durable. Heavy duty built. It's talking to the uh, uh, Nick, one of the uh, sales reps yesterday there at the New Holland place there in Dayton, Texas. And uh, basically, 
he was telling me that these parts, if you have a problem with the baler, two years from now, bearings, whatever it may be, you can actually go to any automotive place and if they don't have these parts in stock, they can get them there next day. So you're not just limited to the dealership. You can get them pretty much well anywhere at any automo automobile dealership uh, uh, parts place. So that being said, let them take them another loop around George's barn here. And uh, man, like that baler. Love that tractor too. This is some of the hay we baled this year out here at George's with our John Deere baler. Great bales, don't get me wrong. Uh, we're happy with it, George is. And uh, like to walk you in George's barn and let you see what we got in there. He, uh, he put close to 500 bales in this barn. If I'm not mistaken, I counted for him the other day, I think 480, somewhere in that neck of the woods some of his equipment but yeah check this out brick wall ain't it look at that it's pretty big barn and look at the john deere round bales folks now like i say we uh we've not had too much grief out of our john deere at all no complaints about that but we're always just like anybody looking for a way to uh to increase productivity and uh, something I was looking at on these bales you can see I got my fingers in that bale a little loose at the top not terrible but man I'd like to show you some of those bales which we have them in the field still right now of the uh, of these McHale round bales they are solid as a rock solid as a rock folks can't ask for better can't ask so let me get back over here well that's actually Bo Jacob driving a tractor now Jack's standing by the truck they get back over here we will uh, go through that baler let you look at that thing uh heavy built everything on it is just hands hands off so to speak so i think you'll like it we'll get you a good look at it here in a minute <coughs> here you go Old Jake, he likes driving that stuff. Can't blame him. Mikhail V660, folks. Quiet as a church mouse. Quiet as a church mouse. Does it just pull open, Bo? It's got a latch. It's got a latch, but I don't remember how to undo it. There's one out there off of that. And then pull. Then he had oh, here's. A, well, I don't know what that he is. He had a thing that he had a, a special tool he did it with. Oh. Well, I was just going to take a look inside at it. Yeah, I know, but I don't remember how he did that. Huh. That ain't no big deal. That ain't no big deal. We we'll have plenty of opportunities to to film that later. So, okay. yeah. Okay. All right.